Hi there, this video is going to be about the law of sines. This is an easy way to find all the sides and angles in a in a in any triangle. Um, so I've written the law of sines down right here. Uh, angle A is the large capital letter here. Angle B is that's cap that's that's a capital B. This is angle C. So you've got the A, B, and C. The lowercase a and b and c are the sides. Notice that side A is directly across from angle A. Side B directly across from angle B. Side C directly across from angle C. And now I've got this, this equation set up where I just have sine of A over its side, sine of B over its side equals sine of C over its side. So you can basically use any combination of these three terms that are all equal and uh, take either two angles on one side to find uh, the last side or find um, use two sides of one angle to find the other angle. So let's use an example here. Uh, I've drawn a triangle here where we have two angles and we have one side. I'm just gonna call these, maybe this will be angle A, side A, angle B, side B, and then this will be side C and angle C. It does not matter which one's A, B, and C. So we'll start with maybe uh, sine of 110, sine of angle A, over side A equals sine of B, which is 34, over side B. So we'll end up with something like this. Our goal is to solve for A. So I'm gonna start out by cross multiplying to make this happen. A times sine 34 equals sine 110 times 14. Just like that. We're going to solve for A by dividing by sine 34. Like that. And A is 14 sine 110 over sine 34. And we're going to use my calculator to see what that is. Um, so I'm going to go to mode first of all. Make sure I'm in degrees. Degrees is right there. So uh, I'm going to just arrow over and get in degrees. And we can quit. And now I'm going to do um, uh, 14 uh, times sine 110 divided by sine 34. So 23.5 is A. This is 23.5. So now we need uh, side C. So we can do this again. Uh, I'm gonna use, uh, uh, let's see, I need angle C because I, I really need either angle C or side C. And because we know that all the sides in a triangle have to add up to 180, we can figure that out pretty quick. Uh, I can do 180 uh, minus 34, and then minus 110. This is kind of the quick way to figure out the angle C is 36 degrees. I just know they all have to add up to 180. So if I take the other two sides, the other two angles off of 180, I get 36. Um, so um, we will do now sine of angle C, sine 36 over C equals uh, you can choose A or B, it doesn't matter. I'll just choose A, I guess. How about sine of uh, 110 degrees over 23.5. That's angle A and side A and uh, angle C and side C. So now we're gonna cross multiply again. This times this is gonna be sine of 110 times C equals 23.5 times sine 36. We can divide both sides by sine of 110. And you get C uh, equals this big number. So let's figure out what that is. Uh, C is gonna be uh, 23.5 times sine of 110, I'm sorry, 23.5 times sine of 36 
and then divided by sine of 110. So 14.7. This is going to be 14.7. So now you have all the sides and all the angles and you got the whole triangle described. Now I'm going to do one more thing with this triangle. I'm going to find the, the area. Let me just write down a formula that we can use real quick. So the area is one half A times B times sine C or one half B times C sine A or one half um, uh, A C sine B. So it's easy to remember because just remember that A, B, and C all have to be in there somewhere. A, if A and B are here, that's angle C. If B and C are here, that's angle A. If A and C are here, that's, that's uh, angle, angle B. So for us, we've got this triangle. Uh, I'm just going to pick, I don't really care which ones I pick. Uh, we'll just do one half, how about A times B, we'll just do 23.5 times 14. And so we've got A, B, now we need angle C, sine 36. And you can see um, that would be uh, one half, oh, one half times 23.5 times 14 times sine 36. And so the area there is 96.7. Uh, square units, I'll say unit squared. So that is how the law of sine works. And from there, you can find the area of, of your triangle and, and that should take care of about everything you need to know. Uh, one last issue, sometimes you may have a triangle that's or something that's not actually a triangle. If you have, uh, you know, say you had this and then you had a side like this and then you had that. Now, that obviously is not a triangle because the uh, they don't they don't come together, and the way you will know that if say you had you know this was ninety five and this was you know thirty five, and you know these all had links to them. Say this was thirty and twenty and three. Um, if if what you have doesn't actually make a triangle, you'll end up with sine you know of an angle equals a number bigger than one, you know, 1.8 or, you know, 2.3. And remember, sine always has to be um, less than or equal to one. This, the absolute value of it always has to be less than or equal to one. So if you ever end up with a, with a sign that is equal to something bigger than one and you're getting some sort of, you know, error, all that means is your triangle is not really a triangle. Uh, so just one kind of word of caution there. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.